Hello students, we will start now 12th syllabus of electronics subject. We shall begin with the paper 2 that is digital electronics. Very first we will go with the first chapter of paper 2 syllabus that is a number system. In this topic you will familiar with additional two number systems such as binary and hexadecimal number systems beside the decimal known to you. Furthermore, we will try to understand their interconvergence, conversion of binary into decimal and vice versa. Again, we will learn variety of arithmetic operations such as addition subtractions on the binary numbers. After then, we will try to learn variety of binary codes used in the digital electronics for various purposes such as in data transmission or communications. Then we shall learn in brief the review of digital and analog concept before you could start for actual content let me know what do you mean by the analog circuits and digital electronic circuits or why we have to go for the binary number system as our interest. So earlier there were use of analog electronic circuits for variety of computational operations addition subtraction and so on. But the information used for such a process is of analog type. That means a continuous wave. It has a nature of sine wave. If you observe voltage versus time graph for analog signal, it goes on varying continuously. It has n number of values. Therefore, it is quite difficult to process or store such type of information having n number of values. Therefore, alternative method is invented by the scientist that we can use this type of information that is called as discrete signal also known as digital signals a graph of voltage versus time if you observe it has only two values plus v and zero value plus v value assigned as logic one and the zero volt value assigned as logic zero or low level having the information with this the circuit which process is known as digital electronic circuit and those circuits and devices has lot of advantages over the old type of analog computational devices. The first one is what we can convert any kind of information easily into binary or digital form that means strings of 1 and 0. Secondly, if information is available in binary form, we can store them up to large capacity or large or huge content can be stored as advantage. Thirdly, processing speed of binary number systems is of very fast and accurate one. Fourth one, such devices will work on very low power that means consumption of electricity is very low. And the fifth one is what such devices are of very small in size and even portables. Then we'll see about brief revision of a number systems. One of them is known to us that is decimal number system. Every number system uses certain symbols for the counting purpose. For decimal, as you know, 0, 1, up to 9, 10 number of symbols used as a digit. So number of symbols used in number systems is known as a base or radix of a number system. I will repeat here. Total number of symbols, either digits or alphabets, used in the given number system is known as a base or the radix of the number system. For decimal, since 10 number of digits are used, so base is 10. For a binary, we will see afterward, just 0 and 1 are used, therefore base is 2. For hexadecimal, it uses digits as well as alphabets, therefore base is of 16. Now again, let me have brief revision what you have been learned since from nursery education about a decimal number system, but different ways here. In case of decimal number system, as I told, there are 10 number of symbols are called as 10 digits, 0, 1, up to 9. Therefore, the base is of 10. Any decimal number we can express in terms of power of 10. The 10 to x represent positional value of every digit in the given decimal number. For example, suppose here, a decimal number 123.48. So here, not to be read as 1, 2, 3, it is 100. 23.48 right so 1 is at position of 100 
2 is at position of 10, 3 is at position of unit, 4 is at position of 1 by 10, 8 is at position of 1 by 100. Therefore, below the, for every digit, we can write in multiply its positional value. 100 means 10 is 2, 10 means 10 is to 1, unit means 10 is to 0, 1 by 10 means 10 is to minus 1, 1 by 100 means 10 is to minus 2 and so on. Thus, we can write below the every decimal digit its positional value. In between, a fractional point is called as decimal point, in short, DP as the abbreviation. So, exactly parallel we'll see about the binary number system. In case of binary number system, what we have? You'll find just two digits from decimal number system, 0 and 1 used in the binary. Pi means 2. Binary means number. So, these two digits also called as binary digits because not decimal, 0 and 1. Sometimes, abbreviation used for binary digit as a bits. 0 and 1 are the bits. So, therefore, only two symbols are used. So, basis 2. So, likewise, decimal number system, you can express every binary number in terms of power of 2. For example, a number 101.10. You can't read this as 101.10 because not decimal. It is suffix 2 means binary. You must read as 101.10. So every bit has a positional value. Likewise, decimal, you can express positional values of every bit in terms of power of 2. Towards integer part, power of 2 is positive. 2 raised to 0, 1, 2 and so on. Towards fractional part, power of 2 is negative. 2 raised to minus 1, minus 2 and so on. So, below the every bit, you can write its positional value. That means, first bit here, towards extreme left, extreme left position has maximum value. That is MS bit, binary bit, most value. And towards right, 0 is there. It has the list value known as list positional value, LS bit value. 0 is LS bit bit and 1 towards the left is the MS bit bit. So, in this way, we can expand a binary number to get the decimal equivalent. So, below the every bit, you can express its binary equivalent. Let's see how to convert a decimal number into binary equivalent. For here, very simple method I used. As if decimal, decimal number can possess two parts, integer part and a fractional part. Let's see first how we can convert integer part into binary equivalent. So, for that method used is the double-double method in which a given decimal integer, say 25 or 47, divide it successively by the 2. After each division, write the quotient below the given number. If any remainder, either 1 or 0, take aside, then repeat this above step till you will get the quotient 0. At the last, Arrange all remainder in reverse order. Reverse means bottom to top order. For example here, to convert 25 into binary equivalent, divide it by 2 successively. 2 is 6 is a 12. Quotient 6, 0 remainder. 2 is 3 is a 6. Quotient 3, 0 remainder and so on. You can repeat till the question becomes 0 here. I will repeat once again here. If you divide 25 by 2, 12 question, 1 remainder. 12 by 2, 6 question, 0 remainder. 6 by 2, 3 question, 0 remainder. 1 by 2, not possible, 0 question and 1 remainder. So, rearrange them in reverse order. You may understand with one more example of this method of conversion. Then we will see about how we can convert the fractional part of decimal number into binary equivalent. For that, method used is the multiplying by 2 a given fractional number. So, number is here 0 0.52. Multiply it by 2, 3 to 4 times. After each division, write the answer. In the answer, we get the integer towards the left of fractional point. Take it to the right side as an integer in separate. So, here 0 0.52 into 2, 1.02 as answer. 1 is integer. Take a side. Multiply again 0 0.04 by 2, 0 0.08 as answer. 0 is the integer. Again, multiply 0 0.08 by 2. 0.16 as answer, 0 is integer. Again, multiply 0.16 by 2. 0.32 is answer. So, 0 is integer. 
arrange all these integers in a same sequence top to bottom order to get the binary equivalent for given decimal fraction don't forget to add a fractional point therefore answer is 0 0.1000 you can understand with one more example here 0.356 into binary equivalent multiply it by 2 0 0.712 is the answer zero integer again this fraction multiply by 2 1.424 is the answer 4 is the integer take a set again multiply by this fraction by 2 0 0.848 is the answer 0 integer take a set again multiply this fraction by 2 1.696 is the answer 1 is the integer so all these integer we have got arrange them in same sequence by putting the binary point to the left, extreme left side so in this way we can convert any given fractional binary into fractional decimal into binary equivalent three to four steps are enough if you want the more accuracy you may increase the number of steps but in practice four steps are enough but if we have a decimal number with this form integer forms as well as fractional form then you have to convert two part in separate integer part fractional part in this way that is known to us so divide the 47 by 2 successively after each division write the quotient and take the remainder aside rearrange remainders in reverse order to get binary equivalent of 47 this one then for fractional part multiply the fraction by 2 successively 3 to 4 steps after each multiplication take the integer aside arrange all integer in same sequence after the fractional point so we get 47.52 decimal number in binary equivalent as 10111.1000 now let's see reverse conversion conversion of binary into decimal equivalent and for this method used is the streamline method in which step by step line wise write the all steps in a sequence as a flow streamline flow you are given this a binary number 1101.101 .101. our aim is to convert into decimal equivalent so write the given binary by leaving the space in between each binary bits now below the each bit as you know write its positional value as a weight binary weight in terms of power of 2 weight becomes in positive value towards integer part negative value towards fractional part first binary weight is 2 raised to 0 it comes just left of binary point then next bit will have the 2 raised to 1 value next will have the 2 raised to 2 and the last will have the 2 raised to 3 as a positional weight or binary weight towards fractional part weights are 2 raised to minus 1 2 raised to minus 2 2 raised to minus 3 now the third step is here the positional weight in terms of power of 2 that falls below the 0 bit cancel away or strikes away then add all remaining positional weights to get the resultant decimal equivalent 2 raise to 3 2 raise to 2 2 raise to 0 2 raise to minus 1 2 raise to minus 3 to so add them we'll get the 8 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0.5 plus 0 0.125 as a sum 13.6625 as a decimal equivalent for given binary number you may have the more examples for the practice so that your idea of number conversion becomes complete for that i will provide additional extra seats as a question bank on this content in our next lecture next presentation we'll go for the hexadecimal number system thank you